For today's lesson, we are going to be looking at finding highest common factors. But before we do that, let us look at what are factors. The factors of a number are all the number that can be divided into that given number without leaving a remainder. For example, the factors of 20 would be 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. These are the factors of 20 because all these numbers can be divided into 20 without leaving a remainder. The question you want to ask yourself, what is HCF? HCF stands for highest common factor. Now, the HCF of two numbers is the largest number that can be divided into both numbers without leaving a remainder. Let us look at some ways of finding the HCF of two or more numbers. Now, this is our example, and we're going to start by listing the factors of 24 and 30. Now, to list the factors of 24, we would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, and 12. Now, all these numbers are numbers that can go into 24 without leaving a remainder. Let us list the factors of 30. The factors of 30 would be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Those would be all the numbers that could go into 30 without leaving a remainder. Now, let us look at the common factors. Not, yet, not the highest common factors yet. The common factors. Now, the common factors of both these numbers would be all the numbers that can go into both numbers without leaving a remainder. Let us look at some of the common factors of 24 and 30. We would have 1 because it is common in both groups. We would have 2. We would have 3. And we would have 6. Okay, so these are the common factors of 24 and 30. Now, all we need to do now to find the highest common factor is to see which of these numbers that we have chosen is the largest. So now, let us list the common factors 1, 2, 3, and 6. The highest common factor of 24 and 30 would definitely be 6. So for reinforcement for the listing method of finding highest common factors, all you need to do is just to list the factors of both numbers and look to see which one is common and then you pick out the highest one. And that's how you find the HCF by listing. Okay, so for our second method, we're going to be using the divisor method, which we will use prime factorization to find the highest common factor. Now, as you can see, we have some prime numbers listed here already. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and 17, and of course, these continue. Now, the first step would be to draw up the table, which we have already done. Now, we can insert our numbers that we're going to find the highest common factor of. Now the first number is 24, the second one is 30. What you would need to do now is to think of the smallest prime number that can go into both these numbers without leaving a remainder. And again, I stress on this, both the numbers without leaving a remainder. So now, the smallest prime number is 2. Can 2 go into both these numbers without leaving a remainder? Yes, both of them are even numbers, so therefore 2 can go into both these numbers. Okay? So we'll start with 2. Now, 2 can go into 24 12 times. And 2 can go into 30 15 times. Now, can we use 2 again? Can 2 go into 12? Yes, it can. Can 2 go into 15? No, it can't. So we'd have to move to our next prime number, which would be 3. Can 3 go into 12 without leaving a remainder? Yes. Can 3 go into 15 without leaving a remainder? Yes. So we can use 3. 3 into 12 goes 4 times and 3 into 15 goes 5 times. Now, we are at a stage now where we can't find a common prime number that can go into both these numbers. What do we do? We leave it right here. If we can't find a common prime factor of both these numbers, we are going to have to just stop right here. Our next step is to multiply both these numbers that we use, both the prime factors that we use to find the highest common factor. 
and 2 multiplied by 3 would be equal to the 8 CF which is 6. So again we use prime factors of both the numbers and both numbers must be divisible by that prime factor. So we start with the smallest one which is 2. 2 into 24 goes 12 times. 2 into 30 goes 15 times. We then move down to 3. 3 into 12 goes 4 times. 3 into 15 goes 5 times. There is no other prime number that can go into 4 and 5 without leaving a remainder. So we'd have to stop the table right here and multiply the prime factors that we use. Now that is it for using the divisor method to finding highest common factor. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye.